Okay, in three, two, one, action. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Marcus Li Ju Wei, and uh, we're currently filming uh, this four-part web series. It's called uh, Digital Love. It's a love story set during the whole uh, circuit breaker period where we are unable to go out. This release is also in conjunction with uh, two of my song releases that are coming up. Uh, the first song is called Jian uh, Xi Nan Yo, Pursuing Love. The next one, uh, which is going to be part four. Um, I'll, I, I shan't say for now, right? Should I say? I don't say. Okay, shan't say. Yeah, Amelia says don't say first. Part two will be like the MV for uh, my song Jian Xi Nan Yo, Pursuing Love. So how many Zoom calls have you been on this season? Like 65. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is Amelia. Yeah. Amelia is a scriptwriter. Can we, can we have her as such? Yeah, so we have a brainchild and then we'll discuss it. She doesn't be on camera, but then I say, okay? I see. I see. Amelia is the main man. She's the man. Amelia is the man. She's also the man. <laughs> Currently, I'm quite tired. <laughs> Being very honest, yeah. But uh, I think so far, shoot has been really smooth. Just really thankful that we are able to even film because um, there was just so many uncertainties that was going on. Uh, I think initially, this song was supposed to be released in in back in May, and I was supposed to go to Malaysia to even like shoot the the MV. But um, I'm so thankful that we can get the entire team on board uh, with such a like on a such a short notice also to get this uh, lovely space um, and uh, just to proceed with this project I think I'm very very just very grateful right now Almost every day is on Zoom like especially the first month of Circuit Breaker um, first one and a half months yeah. then after that slowly you know of course uh, when Phase 1 started opening up people started to um, maybe have their lives back to normal and then Phase 2 then of course there's less Zooms I think now well, hardly Hardly we have Zoom on, because now we can dine in really, right? So, um, I mean, this whole period also taught us to, taught me lah, to, to, to really uh, not take stuff like this for granted, you know, meeting face to face. I think this whole, this whole idea of like meeting face to face is also, or the inability to do so, also drives uh, the messaging of, 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 this, of this entire series as well. Yeah. Because a lot of things that maybe could have been worked out face to face can't really be worked out so um, yeah things will actually play out the way it, it does I'm trying not to say too much things <laughs> <laughs> okay so now we are shooting like the last scene this whole scene the last scene of part 3 so this is where where things get a little bit more serious right between the guy and the girl so trying to get into the mood the wine, okay. Well, I just hope that as many people will be able to uh, watch it and enjoy it. And I think most importantly, when we uh, were brainstorming about this idea, was this: we hope to have something that will be relatable. So that's why uh, there was this project of like um, a love story of how a love story would play out when you, you actually can't see each other. The scenarios and the scenes that we're shooting, uh, the things that the, 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 the guy and the girl are doing, they are, I think they're all very relatable. So I'm hoping that um, people watching will be able to also feel um, something when they watch the show.